There was once a boy who had big, big dreams, who carried a light that would shine from the inside out. He would freely share his light with those in need until one day those same people he helped pick up stole his light when he was asleep, just like a thief in the night. Once a big adventure fell into a nightmare of reality as the small town folk around him devoured his essence bit by bit. Gluttonous pigs, overindulging the sins of flesh, no control, full speed ahead, ready to wreak havoc on anyone in their path. The little boy was sad and afraid of the dark. What could go bump in the night? What was watching him when he couldn't see? One night, things were different. It was Hallow's Eve. On the way home from school after choir rehearsal, the boy ran into an old man closing up shop from shining shoes. The old man stopped the young boy and asked if he had a dime for his time. The young boy looked puzzled. The old man asked again in a different way. Could I give you a dime for your time? The young boy shrugged his shoulders and said, sure. The old man said, I see you walk home with your head hung day after day. Why is that so? The boy said, people keep stealing my light when I'm asleep. They aren't very nice, like when I once gave it to them. Why did you give it to them, the old man asked. Because I don't want to see people sad like I was. Everyone deserves a smile. This brought a smile upon the old man's face. He looked the young man in the eyes and he said, you have a big, brave heart that you must learn to protect. And tonight, more than any other night, the spirits are among us. The old man reached into his pocket and handed the boy a medallion engraved with an evil eye. This will protect your spirit from now on. Carry it with one until one day you can no longer find it because the protection is a part of you. And it's gone to the next person to protect. The young boy looked at the medallion in awe and thanked the old man. Now you be on your way and get home safe. Keep your head up, look both ways, but don't look behind you. No matter what you hear, keep walking. The old man tipped his hat. Godspeed. The young boy nodded. Thank you, sir. As the young boy continued to walk home, he kept hearing in the back of his head, keep your head up, look both ways, and never look back. It was beginning to get very cold and the wind very brisk. Passing the young boy's legs, it sent a chill up his spine. He was only a few blocks away from his home. And ever so often, he heard the chuckle of his peers running through the neighborhood and an oddity of trash creating the clash of titans amongst the wind echoing. The young boy stayed by the street lights and would move as fast as possible if they were out. He gripped the medallion with the utmost faith in carrying him home. As he was about to cross the street, he heard, hey, coming from behind. The boy resisted the instant reaction to look back. Instead, looked both ways and what felt like a fast walk became more of a skip. As the steps from the person behind him came closer, he heard the bellowing sound of a growl. <sighs> the boy is now a block away from his house after turning right, and he took off full speed ahead with his head held high and his shoulders narrowed in the direction of his front porch. He could hear the snarling and the salvating creature not far behind him. The front door opened as his mother was outside sweeping. Mom! The young boy yelled with the assertion of glee. The closer the boy got, 
the more distant the creature became, like almost came to a sudden stop, like a halt. His heart pumped so fast. There you are. I just got finished setting the table. Come on in. I know you're cold and hungry. The boy leapt on the porch and hugged his mother, pulling her inside, closing the door, and ran straight to his room where he melted into the floor like landing ground for the first time. She chuckled. Really hungry, aren't we? Of course, Mom. (laughs) He nervously laughed. After calming himself, he looked out the window of his room to see if he could spot whatever wolf-like creature was chasing him and snarling. In the far distance, to the left, he could see this yellow-eyed wolf-like man. The boy gasped and looked down at his hand at the medallion. He kissed it, whispered thank you, and placed it under his pillow.